Well, hello there, Chums Design, Captain of the Stews, and today, Chums, for you guys and the view of us, I've just got a little bit of news around some of the things that I said the other day that may or may not be correct. We'll get into that. Let me just jump on over onto the old Tinter webs. Now, I was looking at the No Man's Sky Echoes list put out there by Sean of the Murrays, and it's actually pinned on his Twitter page. And I said, in this list, it doesn't mention the ARG or the four part arc. However, some keen-eyed, eagle-eyed people out there said, what about this one that says new story? It's got a little handwriting emoji on it. New story, people. New story could be the ARG, could be the four-part arc. So I figured, OK, well, let's pop on over and have a look at the Echoes patch notes. So, yeah, you people out there in the view of us, you astute people, you, thank you very much. One of those people was The Structure, who's another content creator. And then some of my viewers have actually hit me up, and I think I've added one as a pinned comment on my video. But if I head on down and keep scrolling, we've got it down here. It says, Echoes, introducing update 4.4. Meet the secret society of robot aliens in update 4.4. Echoes, furthering the narrative introduced in Interceptor. Well, I believe Interceptor was part one of where we started getting some of these ARG clues and parts of the arc appearing inside of the game files. So you know what? Those astute eagle-eyed people out there inside the viewers could be right. This could be part three of the four-part arc, people. Which means if we do get another expedition in this year, it could be part four. The concluding part, and along with it, perhaps some of the things that have been missing in the year, such as perhaps, maybe, those space station type bees, which would be freaking awesome if it's tied into the law. I'm not too sure how it would be tied into this, but it could be. It could be, people. Who freaking knows? Explore the mysteries of the autophage, perform their rituals, learn their language, and assemble your own ceremonial staff. Blilly, blilly, blilly. But anyway, we're interested in the story elements. We're, we're interested in where you learn of the stories of this new secret society in autophages. Now, scrolling down a bit, yes, it does mention that there's a whole new language to be learned, which I've learned. I've learned the whole new language. I went around all the camps talking to all of the sort of chappies here and learning some of what they had to say. If you actually give them gifts, they give you little snippets, little clues to where they came from. But it's... It's only a little while until they start repeating some of that stuff. Now, we did have some narrative-driven adventure inside of these robotic camps in a roundabout way, alongside of Priest Entity Nada, as we've rebuilt the construct aboard the actual Nexus or the Spatial Anomaly. But where else are we going to be getting some of this sort of information from? You can see there's a purple portal, which is pretty nice. We also went into a space station that we slavered with Atlantium, and the space station turned purple, and we got the Void Mother's sort of voice coming through inside of that Atlas station, or there or thereabouts. But there is more lore. There is more lore that I haven't hit up. I've only hit up three pieces. Yes, and I completely left it alone. I... What was I thinking? If you go to the alien monoliths where you get your new multi-tools from, they actually give you other snippets of lore through visions. So these are them here. And you actually get them at these uh, monoliths that go purple. Does that actually show them inside of these patch notes? Maybe I should just do a control F and search for monolith. Because these patch notes are all over the freaking shop, mate. They're all over the shop. You know what? I think I will do that. Let's just put monolith in there. Mono... Mono... Okay, hopefully that's found it. Monoliths, here we go. Atlantid Multitools. Expand your arsenal with a new Atlantid class multi-tool available in hundreds of variations. Probe the secret alien monoliths to find and claim this runeric nanite-infused technology. Uh, okay, and it doesn't mention the lore there. But technically, if you go to uh, Korvac's monoliths and interact with them... Let's just put in story and let's see what else we get then. Story. Here we go. Autophage visions. Infuse ancient Corvax monoliths with the mysterious Atlantium to access unseen story. Interface with these dissonant structures to experience their minds and history of the autophage through surreal visions. Yes. OK, so this is what I need to do. I'm going to be hitting these up, people. So, you know, if there is an update in the next few days or so or next week or the week after that hopefully i would have learned all the lore by then but i need to go to all these corvax monoliths and hit them up and learn this new narrative and story and visions 
Yeah, I've already done three, as I say, because I went looking for multi-tools. I wasn't overly bothered about the visions. I just thought they were just, you know, visions of the past, which I guess they are. They're visions in history, but they're, they're quintessential to the law. How did I not freaking... Oh, dang it. Anyway, it gives me something to do, people. So I'm going to be hitting that up. So, yeah, hopefully you're going to be tuning in for that. And if that sounds good to you, please smash that like, the subscribe. And I just want to say a massive thank you to all of those people that hit me up and told me that maybe, Captain Steve, maybe this is part three of the arc. Although Sean of the Murrays didn't put it into the actual patch notes in a way that actually, you know, reads as good. You know, there it is behind me there. But it, it might not be in that list. You know what he's like. He's cryptic as fudge, even with his emojis. And just putting new story like that could be it that could be it that could be the narrative that could be part three of the four-part arc so maybe echoes was maybe it wasn't i don't know it's not 100 percent clear but it does look like the people that fed me this information are onto something so thank you very much people out there and yeah if you like this video i, I do videos like this all the time hit that like hit that subscribe smash all the buttons you know what you're doing i'm hoping to get that nice shiny plaque for my wall one day inside of my studio people that'd be nice to be recognized by the youtubes it's more about getting myself a little cohort over at youtube that i can go to when things go awry or if i need some help with something because at the moment all i get is access to freaking live chat and they just give you scripted phrases that they throw back at you I'd love to hit that 100k subscribers just so I get somebody that actually gets designated to me to help me with my YouTube career. And then it becomes a career. And then I might be able to do this full time, which would be freaking awesome for you guys and me. So yeah, hitting that button does make sense. Until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.